Let's walk through in making the roof the first lesson on marking the horizontal line snapping. Let's walk through the whole thing. So we're going to click on the simulation to bring it up and get it started. I always click up here to the procedure guide. You can either see it vertically up here at the top as a single line or you can click on it and have it over here on the side. I'm going to do it that way. Uh, we begin by just saying that we're going to tell us that we're going to snap horizontal lines. You want to mark vertically with a crayon across. Notice that you've got a marker here, so what you do is you click on it, and then you keep dragging it out until you get out to around 14 feet, right where the marker is telling you to go. It's pretty easy. You let go, and you've made your first mark, and then you can proceed. You want to mark down from the roof about 40 inches. That's about 3 feet 4 inches and you let go and you make your first mark there. The idea here is that this is going to be leaving room for the um, uh, fire setback and that's usually a minimum of 36 inches. We're dragging it down 40 just to be safe. We didn't want to be on the edge and have an inspector come with a tape measure that's you know different than our tape measure and bonk it so took that 36 inches and dragged it down to 40. That's why we did that. Then what you want to do is drag over from your previous mark and drag over a distance to about 27 feet because that's going to be right about right there and you make a mark that's going to be roughly the width of the array that we're going to be marking up uh, it's a little bit more we're going to tighten that up later but right now we just wanted to go over to the other extreme side and then from there again you want to drag down your uh, 36 inches for uh, fire setback, but you want to make it a little bit safer. So you go more than three feet, you go three feet, four inches, and you make your mark there. Then you bring out the snapping tool. So what you do is you click on the, the tool icon here to bring up any tools that are called for. I click on it, and lo and behold, it brings up a line snapping tool. Uh, you don't have to get dirty. The chalk doesn't get in your hands in the sim. It's pretty cool. So you bring it up here to the place where you want to snap your line and you click and snap the line and then to put the tool away you click on the tool as well um, know that when you're doing snapping lines uh, typically it involves two people at least one person holding it at one end one person holding it at the other um, you might also have a third person that uh, lifts it up in the center and snaps it for you that would be a, a way to make a really strong line then what you want to do is start marking down your line so this top line that you did is the very top of the array it's going to be where the top of the glass of the module is. Now, where's your first line down? We say make the first line down um, 12 inches, so that's one foot. So bring it down one foot and make a mark. Why are we doing that? That's because this top line is going to be the, the outer edge of the top of the glass of the modules, but this is where the first rail is going to go, and we're giving ourselves a 12 inch cantilever here. The manufacturer uh, in fact, on the spec sheet, you can click on the More Info Note. More Info Note comes up and tells you. The manufacturer, in this case, told us that they want it no closer than 9.4 inches and no further than 16.5 inches. So we picked 12 inches as being a safe cantilever distance from the edge of the glass to where the first rail is going to be. And that's why we're choosing this 12-inch distance here. We're going to proceed over, go to the other side as well, and drag that down 12 inches. Make that second mark as well. Then we're going to once again be prompted to bring up the snapping tool, bring it up, click on the line, and snap our line, and then click on the tool again to make the tool go away. So now we've made our first line that's going to show where our rails, top rail is going to go. Now we start coming down. So we drag down here 3 feet 4 inches, or about 42 inches, right to there. The reason we're doing that is because that's the separation of the module from the top rail to the bottom rail and we're going to leave 12 inches cantilever there. So if you bring, click on the More Info Note and bring that up, it explains that if the module is 66 inches long, and you're leaving off 12 inches at one end, 12 inches at the other end, the distance between the two rails is going to be 42 inches. So that's why we're making this mark. We go back over to the other side with our tape measure, and we're going to come down 3 feet 4 inches, or 42 inches, and make our mark there. And then Proceeding again, you click on the tool to bring up the snapping tool. Again, your hands are staying nice and clean because you're in the sim. You click on the, the location, 
and then click on the tool icon to put it away, and you've snapped your next line. So now you have your top line of the edge of the glass, your first rail, and your second rail. So now you want to mark your third rail. Well, what's that going to be? Well, that's a separation of about 25 inches. So we bring this down to uh, two feet and one inch and let go. And why is that? I can always click on the more info icon here to find out more information. <clears throat> and that is because um, we want 12 inches from the last rail to the edge of the module. Then we're going to leave about one inch of separation between the two module rows and then 12 more inches. That's what gives us our 12, 24, 25 inches of separation there. I click Next. I do the same thing on the other side, going back and forth across the array. So I come down here to my 2 feet 1 inch, click there, proceed to my next step, which means bring up my snapping tool, snap my, to my line, click on the tool, and there I've made my rail. So now this is going to be the top rail of my second row of modules. I'm going to proceed, I'm going to drag down here. What's the distance it's going to be? It's that separation within the module glass. So that's 3 feet 4 inches or 42 inches again. I let go. Come on over here. Same thing. Drag down. Same thing. I want to do 3 feet 4 inches. Drag that down. Because I've got the same distance there. I've got the same distance there. Then I'm going to come over here and snap my line. And click and snap my line like that. Now i got one more step to go, which is to mark the outer edge of my glass. So that's going to be 12 inches down. Remember, I'm going 12 inches or 1 foot. And I'm going to click over here, bring that down 12 inches or roughly 1 foot. There, draw my line. And then click on my snapping tool, bring up my snapping tool. Click it right on my line there. Click on my tool away. And now I've made my line. So basically I have the top of my glass here, my first rail, my second rail for my top row of modules, my first rail, and my second rail for my second row of modules, and then the bottom edge of where the glass is going to be. Click on Next, and it says basically, congratulations. I've put in all my lines, and you can drag around here and see that there you go. There's, there's what the array is going to look like. Good job. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.